The Miami Dolphins today announced they have signed quarterback Jake Rudick. The team also placed quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick on the reserve COVID-19 list, placed linebacker Alandon Roberts on injured reserve list for season with knee injury and activated wide receiver Kirk Merritt as a COVID-19 replacement for Sunday's game. Limited practice, Kindley, Lawson, McCain full practice, Flowers, Fratzi, Mike Jasicki, Xavier Howard, Jamal Perry, Kyle Van Noy. Wide receiver Devontae Parker missed the last two games for Miami, but was on the practice field Thursday, albeit in a limited capacity, as he works to get back from a hamstring injury that sidelined him during the Week 15 win over the Patriots. Miami's last win in Buffalo was a big one, as it propelled the Dolphins to their more recent playoff berth in 2016. In that game, Parker hauled in four passes for 85 yards including a 56-yard touchdown. Dolphins defensive end Shaq Lawson also, but as a member of the opposition. Now with Miami, Lawson is hoping to get back on the field after missing Saturday's game in Las Vegas with a shoulder injury. Like Parker, Lawson was a limited participant in Thursday's Dolphins practice. Miami Dolphins veteran quarterback Ryan Fitzpatrick has tested positive for COVID-19 and will be unavailable for Sunday's regular season finale against the Buffalo Bills, a source confirmed to ESPN. He was placed on the reserve COVID-19 list on Thursday afternoon, the team announced. The Dolphins and the NFL have conducted initial contact tracing with no high-risk close contacts determined as of Thursday afternoon, a source told ESPN, but that process will continue. Fitzpatrick practiced fully Wednesday and wasn't listed on the injury report, but he didn't practice Thursday afternoon, indicating that the positive COVID-19 test was a recent surprise. Dolphins safety Eric Rowe said that coach Brian Flores informed the team about Fitzpatrick's, Fitzpatrick's status during a Zoom meeting. It hurts. He's a leader on our team. He brings energy, Rowe said. I'm sure it's worse for him because he loves the game and no one wants to catch COVID. With that, you have to push forward. COVID is a real deal thing whether you don't have symptoms or you do. Just praying he doesn't have symptoms or he didn't pass it to his kids. Ki Tua Tungavailoa is the Dolphins' starting quarterback, but Fitzpatrick has been called on twice in the fourth quarter to play what Flores compared to a ninth inning reliever role. Fitzpatrick led the Dolphins to a 26-25 comeback win over the Las Vegas Raiders on Saturday after a 34-yard heave coupled with a 15-yard face mask penalty set up the game-winning field goal. The Dolphins signed Jake Rudick to the 53-man roster Thursday, and he is expected to be Tungavailoa's backup Sunday. Tungavailoa, Rudick and practice squad quarterback Reed Sinnott practiced fully Thursday. In addition, receiver Kirk Merritt was added to the roster as a COVID-19 replacement for Sunday's game. NFL Network first reported Fitzpatrick's positive test. The Dolphins would clinch a playoff berth with a win over the Bills. They could still make the playoffs with a loss but would need a loss from either the Cleveland Browns versus a Steelers team resting key starters, Indianapolis Colts versus Jaguars or Baltimore Baltimore Ravens versus Bengals. The Bills, who have clinched the AFC East but can earn the number 2 versus number 3 seed based on week 17 results, have been coy on whether they will play their starters. Fitzpatrick, who has never made the playoffs in his 16-year career, could be in jeopardy of missing the Dolphins' first playoff game if they make it. Any asymptomatic player who tests positive for COVID-19 must wait at least 10 days before rejoining the team. That means the earliest Fitzpatrick could return to the team is Sunday January 10, and only if he travels separately from the team via private transportation to participate in the game. There will be three playoff games on Saturday and three on Sunday for Wild Card Weekend this season. Fitzpatrick, 38, is 4-3 as a starter this season, throwing for 2,091 yards with 13 touchdowns and 8 interceptions. Miami Dolphins linebacker Alandon Roberts suffered a significant knee injury in Saturday's win over the Las Vegas Raiders Sunday against the Buffalo Bills, coach Brian Flores said. Roberts is also expected to miss any Dolphins postseason games. Roberts, who has started 11 games this season, has been an important leader and physical run stuffer for the NFL's number one scoring defense. The Dolphins will likely lean on Sam Egavoen and Camus Grugier Hill to take larger roles in Roberts' absence. Roberts signed a one-year, $2 million deal with the Dolphins in March and has outplayed that contract. He could be a candidate to be re-signed in 2021, though he is likely facing a lengthy rehab.
Miami is also expected to be without receiver, returner Jakeem Grant on Sunday against the Bills after he suffered ankle and knee injuries against the Raiders.